Hi, I'm Jennifer Garner and welcome to my Southern Living photo shoot. I am so excited to be on the cover of Southern Living. When I maybe got my first um, magazine cover years and years ago, my mom told my then publicist, Nicole, um, I will think that you've done a good job the day you get Jennifer on Southern Living. So I'm still working with Nicole. It's been all this time and finally, victory. Here it is today. My mom was in a shoot with me. It was a Mother's Day special years ago. And those photographs are so important to me and so special to me that to now include my sisters um, means the world to me. And it makes perfect sense because when I think of the South, I think of family. So we would have to, all the Garner girls would have to be together. Poor dad. We do have an amazing dad. But this is about the Garner girls. When I think about growing up in the South, I think about what characters people are in West Virginia, especially. People are just kooky, and it just makes things um, more entertaining when people have very specific, big, cool personalities. My other favorite thing about growing up in the South is that there is, I think civility is a nice thing. I think taking a moment to say please and thank you and how are you and um, to smile and look people in the eye, while not entirely Southern, it's definitely something that is um, demanded of you if you live in the South, more than it's expected of you if you live, you know, in New York City. When I first moved to New York, when I was right out of college, I moved to New York City, and I could hardly walk down the street because I had to stop and say hi to everyone, and I would walk by and say, good morning, hi, how are you, hello. People looked at me like I was insane. The East Coast tradition that I guess is the biggest part of our family, and this definitely comes from my husband, is baseball. It's just the Red Sox. <laughs> When I'm in LA, I miss the trees and the hills of West Virginia. There's just nothing more beautiful than driving down the southeastern part of the United States. And I, I do miss, you know, expecting men to hold the door for you. You know, when I hear my kids say, yes ma'am or no sir, I am pleased by that. I'm grateful for an awful lot. Grateful to be in this incredible phase in my life where my parents are healthy and my kids are young and still listen to me somewhat for books and words and for my husband and my great kids and my amazing sisters and parents.